Hi and welcome back for another Data Hub training video. Um, we are still in part one on connections and troubleshooting. Uh, another common uh, pitfall, I guess you could say, for users is when they put in an, a function and the return is blank. So I put in a function and I'm getting nothing back. There are a couple of reasons why that could be. First things first is to go ahead and look at your function and make sure that it's valid. So in this case, um, for venue selector, I intentionally put in something that doesn't that doesn't exist, right? So let's say I, I meant to put in US for a venue selector, meaning I want to look at my US marketplace, but maybe I accidentally put UX or something like that. It's possible that whatever I put, it's going to return blank. So first things first, when you've put in a function and you're getting a blank return, go ahead and make sure that everything is spelled correctly. And nine times out of ten, um, something is misspelled, um, or there, there's, there's a quotation in the wrong place, uh, or maybe there's a comma in the wrong place, right? Um, the next thing that could be possible is um, your date range could be invalid, right? So um, let's say I just put something like 2020 Four, let's say. Obviously, for at the time this video is created, that's in the future. Um, so if I put that in, I'm actually going to get an error um, because that date range isn't valid. Um, but let's say let's say that I put in 2023, um, and maybe I'm putting in some columns. If I get a blank return, it's possible the other the other reason that, that would happen is if there was no data. So let's say, and actually a better example would be maybe I said um, yesterday uh, for orders. And maybe I want to look at some orders. Maybe I want to look at, you know, type, created timestamp, status, ship city, ship state, and total. Maybe I want to look at those things. If I fill that out correctly and my formula is perfect, uh, it's possible that there were no orders yesterday and then you would get a blank response. Something else important to mention here is if I don't put any columns in, if I just put in US, which would be for the United States marketplace, and I typed in yesterday, and actually for this example, maybe I'll put last month and I do not put any columns in, uh, it will return all the columns for me. So this is a perfect example. Um, I just put in SL raw orders. I put in US and then last month, it's gonna automatically pull in all of the order data from the previous month. And, that's, and that can be useful as well. If you wanna look at the raw data, that's totally fine as well. And if you want to understand a specific set of data or a specific column of data, go ahead and go to our data dictionary and you can find it there. So those are some pitfalls in general, how to in terms of the functions and if you're getting a blank return. 